Dang, it just takes you right into the to the title screen. Huh. Oh. <laughs> I'm getting like chills up my spine from like seeing this. I'm gonna give a sec for chat to build up a little bit. Uh, yeah, I guess while I'm waiting for chat to build up. Um, Hello, and welcome to my playthrough of Metroid Dread. So, um, I have been anxiously awaiting a good Metroid game for years. Four years. Um, huge Metroid fan. I started with Metroid Prime, and maybe not, like, the biggest fan. I haven't gone back and played, like, the 2D ones, um, all that much. But I'm really, really, really big fan of the Prime series. So... I've been meaning to go back and play those other games, um, kind of get to learn the lore, and uh, I was a huge fan of Fusion too, um, for sure. So, really was excited when they announced this game. Um, honestly speaking, it's like 2021, so like it's the uh, 35th anniversary for I think Zelda and Metroid. Uh, <laughs> yes, Metroid Bread. <laughs> um, I think it's like what the 35th anniversary for for Metroid as well as for Zelda because uh, last year was for Mario um, and yeah I feel like Metroid absolutely took it this year for sure 100% um, really sucks for any Zelda fans to get that little like game and watch thing or whatever the hell that was supposed to be but you know hopefully Breath of Wild 2 kind of makes up for that but this this was a treat like just getting this announced earlier in the year and then it coming out in the same year was pretty crazy um and i was lucky enough to get a, a special edition for it um super hyped about that uh, unfortunately like I, I mentioned in one of the past streams but like as grateful as i am that i got a special edition it came in like damaged and i was pretty upset about it because i'm like oh yeah i'm looking forward to this so much and then like i pick it up and it's like damaged and i'm like wow well fml um, but at least I'm grateful that I got one. But eventually, I did happen to come upon a second one. And I was like, oh, sweet. Like, this isn't nearly as bad, you know. And I had a friend, too, or have a friend that really wanted the special edition, too. And they weren't able to, um, able to get one. And they didn't care about the condition at all. Like, they, they let me know, too, if, if, uh, if I happen to get a second one. They don't mind getting that one. So, picked up the second one. And then they got the first one I had, and it worked out for both of us because we're both huge Metroid fans. So, uh, it, you know, it all worked out in the end. And so, just super happy that I was able to get the special edition and uh, just even be able to play this game. So, <laughs> it's a really, really big thing. Um, yeah, so. Huh, it's uh, just kind of like rethinking the whole entire thing. I'm like, man, I just. It, it was. It was a pain in the ass, like straight up just trying to get a special edition in the first place. Like, sold out, popping up online, out of stock. Just a uh, overall terrible, terrible thing going on. For anybody who's trying to get anything like Nintendo related, you know how it is. Like, for the first couple of weeks, it's just near impossible to get anything unless you're like camping out on your computer or something. Um, but yeah, this one, this was surprisingly one of the easier things for me to get. I had a harder time getting, I think, like the loft wing amiibo for zelda then i did this and then now every time i go to the store like there's the loft wing amiibo so that's just how it is you just kind of got to be patient um wait a little bit and then, you know test your luck i guess oh you had to order yours from japan yeah it's it's crazy that it gets to that point where you have to order from another country um so ridiculous there are certain special editions that i think are absolutely worth getting from another country like I want to get the Xenoblade Definitive Edition Special Edition from, I think, Europe, because you actually get, like, a really, really cool steelbook and, like, a, a Monado vinyl record. 
I'm like, damn, that beats the one that America got. We're like, <laughs> I don't even remember what the hell it had, but um, yeah, so really looking forward to this game. So I've intentionally and very much so within my own interest avoided looking up anything for this game. I just saw the trailer that Nintendo showed the first time, skipped all other trailers, and that's it. So very much so looking forward to this. Yeah, it, the Xenoblade Special Edition is is very cool. I, I highly recommend checking it out. Um, okay, so adjust the brightness until the image on the left is barely visible. The brightness can be adjusted at any time during the game. Um, okay, so barely visible. Okay, so that's obviously too much. I just want to see how bright it could get. For me, I don't know if this changes for anybody else's brightness brightness settings on their, their monitors or screens. But for me, barely visible is about right here. So I'll I'll do that. <laughs> Play it's so dark that it's spooky. You know, I didn't realize in my chicken in the darkness playthrough, because I didn't put two and two together. I normally keep the brightness on my monitors kind of low. I didn't realize the reason it was so damn hard for me to see is because of the fact that I had my brightness like really, really low. So I was like, I can't see anything in this game. <laughs> like uh, afterwards when I was making my walkthrough for it, I was like, wait, did I ever adjust the brightness settings? And I turned it up on my monitor and I'm like, oh my gosh. I can actually see down the hallway now. So <laughs> that was a, a huge issue I was having is I couldn't see the game because my brightness settings weren't weren't uh, appropriate for that game. Um, okay, so would you like to save these settings? Yes. Oh, that sucks. The Nintendo Twitter spoiled the boss for this game? Was it the final boss or just a boss? That sucks. I'm sorry. Uh, Metroid. A virulent floating organism that drains energy from its prey through physical contact. Metroids were originally created by the Chozo and named after their word for ultimate warrior. Their value as a bioweapon sparked several crises, and as a result, all traces of them have been eliminated. They are now extinct. I thought Metroid was the name of the main character. Don't I play as Metroid? X Parasite, a gelatinous parasitic organism indigenous to the planet SR388. It could absorb the DNA of its host, living or dead, and replicate its form. When infecting a living host, it could even access the host's memories. Huh. X Parasites were driven not by emotion, but by an instinct, instinctive need to replicate and spread to increasingly stronger hosts. Their inability to control the inability to be controlled marked them as even more dangerous than their sole predator, the Metroids. Like the Metroids, they are believed extinct. Oh, it was just the boss. Okay, that that's good. That's good. It wasn't like the final boss, but still, that's honestly kind of dumb that they did that. Um, okay, and for anybody who has not played Metroid Fusion, um, I will take a pause right here to mention. Highly, 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 highly <laughs> recommend playing that game. It's a very, very, very good Metro game. Um, to give, like, I guess, like a frame of reference, this game takes place, to my knowledge, after Metroid Fusion. Um, and so, because Metroid Fusion is supposed to be the last in the, the timeline. So I highly recommend playing that um, before playing this game if you are interested in playing this game yourself. Um, the X Parasite is a reference to that, and I will leave it at that, but it is is very much so you recommend playing that. Um, great game, great game. Uh, okay. No Metroid surviving on SR388 and became infested with the X. Horrifying parasites capable of imitating any living being. Unaware of this, I set foot on the planet, got infected, and almost died. Oh, so this is coming from, um, <clears throat> excuse me, it's coming from, uh, Metroid's perspective. 
I'm straight up just trolling, by the way. No. <laughs> I always just get a kick out of that joke where, like, everybody thinks the main character's name is Metroid, who actually doesn't play the game. Um, <laughs> kind of like everybody calling Link Zelda. Um, the only thing that saved me was a vaccine created from Metroid DNA, which also left me uniquely able to oppose the X. This ability was tested immediately when I went to a biological space lab, uh, went to a biological space laboratory's BSL research station to investigate a distress signal. Yeah, so I, I highly recommend playing Fusion because if you're still uh, following along from this point, this is all a reference to Diffusion, all of it, so far from what I've seen at least. There, I battled many powerful X-Forms, including the SAX, which was the X mimicking me in my power suit at full strength. I eventually eliminated the X-Menace on SR388 by setting the BSL research station on a collision course with the planet. After that, X and Metroids were just memories, or so we thought. Just when it all seemed over, the Galactic Federation received a mysterious video transmission. It showed an X, alive and in the wild. Through analysis proved, uh, thorough analysis, excuse me, thorough analysis proved the video was real. Although the sender was unknown, the transmission was traced to a particular planet. <laughs> Is this like one of those like really bad quality, like alien conspiracy videos? It's like the video looked kind of choppy. It looked like it was filmed on a Nokia. <laughs> Even though nowadays most people hold iPhones, for some reason we cannot get a good quality of video of this. Like, just like, oh, it's real, it's real, there it is! And like, it's just like cuts off at the exact moment where like they get close to it. <laughs> I saw it! <laughs> yeah, like any sort of like footage. Uh, it was called ZDR. Uh, if the X had somehow escaped extinction out there, they would pose a threat to the entire galaxy. The Galactic Federation dispatched a research team of seven EMMI to investigate. Hey, how's it going? Definitely not cashier. <laughs> yeah, usually my streaming schedule is a little uh, up and over the place, so I'm trying to get it more consistently, but... Uh, if you ever want to stop in, like, and kind of have an idea of where I'm, when I'm streaming, it's usually Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. So I'm going to post an updated schedule, and that should be my schedule for the next couple of weeks. Uh, I've been trying to be, like, super consistent with it lately after my low hiatus. Um, okay, so, oh, so that's the... Okay, I, I remember it was called Emmy, but I wasn't sure if it's, like, different forms of it. Um... An Emmy or EMMI, I'm assuming it's called Emmy, uh, is a large research robot designed to capture field samples and extract their DNA. Their incredible mobility and protective plating, made of some of the or made of the strongest stuff in the universe, practically guarantee the mission's success. But not long after their arrival on ZDR, all communication was lost. Oof, I'm getting like fusion vibes <laughs> from this. What is happening on ZDR? Is the planet really infested with X? As the only one immune to the parasites, it's up to me to go there and find out. Gosh, I am totally getting the urge to go and play Fusion. I actually have it on the GBA. Um, so like maybe after like I beat this game, I'll go back and play Fusion because it's such a good game. Um, yeah, so for spoiler alert for anybody who doesn't know, um, yeah, this is directly based or i guess following fusion um and a lot of that stuff in that cutscene was referring to fusion uh the x parasite is pretty much the main antagonist of that game and so it's the reason why you don't have your suit um as indicated by that cutscene so um highly recommend playing the game there's a lot of it's a very spooky-esque metro game honestly speaking the way they did the atmosphere oh excuse me Yes. 
assessment care. Entering the atmosphere in T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Yeah, so as I was saying, um, Fusion has a very, like, somewhat unsettling atmosphere throughout the whole game. Um, it is a very well-done Metroid game for sure. I love how this suit's, um, like, an elaboration based on the, the Fusion suit, too. Or at least that's what I think it is. That elevator leads to the depths of an undercover facility. Signal quality is likely to be low. Remote communication remains useful. Try to connect to the facility's network when you reach the bottom. That way, you can be in contact. Many checkpoints waiting. Dang it, we're getting right into it already. We're already encountering something. Did I imagine all of that? Or was that... Huh. Okay, so let's get to know the controls a little bit. Okay, so I can crouch, can I roll? Okay, so this is my... I guess you can actually tack with the arm cannon now, so that's actually kind of cool. Like, you just swing it without shooting. So... Okay, so let's jump. Did my suit change colors? I think it's the same color, or I don't know. So if you're running and doing that, okay, so attacks, this is to shoot. Okay, so you kind of have... You actually have a nice range of motions on how you can shoot. It actually lines up pretty well with where you're pointing. So it's not like too, um... Too, like, uh... Was it like... Stuck to like a, a rail or anything like that. Uh, what is this? Okay, I'm not sure what that is, but I'll find out eventually. Okay, that's missiles. Well, I'm down a missile. Okay. And... Okay, and that's to shoot down. Okay. Do these do anything? Okay, that brings the map up bigger. Um, okay, cool. I think... I'm sure the game will kind of explain to you. Oh, that's how you do the run and slide. Okay. Okay, and you can grab onto the wall there. Now, do I need a switch? Maybe that? Now, how did I shoot the missile before? 
Oh, I have to hold it. Okay. Okay, that makes more sense. Do I just need to go up against it? Oh, you can wall jump on this? Cool. That's actually good to know, too. I mean, you can do it in the other games, too, but I just... I didn't know that I could do it already. Um... Maybe I can climb up here. Okay, what do I need to do to open this? <laughs> like, here I am already stuck on the first part. Do I need to hit... Doesn't seem like I can charge it, at least from what I'm seeing. Uh, maybe I need to hold up here. <laughs> I hope I'm not like the only one that got stuck in this part. Because usually you just shoot the doors and they open, so maybe this isn't what I'm supposed to do. Uh, let's look at the options okay so yeah this is the only door in here um a global map okay select the area move zoom in zoom out okay reset now it's the fast cursor okay mission log encounter mysterious enemy uh does it say anything else no oh wait there was a tutorial thing there um Okay, there's nothing there. Samus, power beam, uh, missile, power suit. Uh, maybe it tells me the power beam here. Press Y to fire, uh, or press Y rapidly to fire consecutive shots. Okay. Um, okay, it fires a powerful missile that can inflict damage on targets such as robots and bosses. Hold R and press Y to fire. Uh, consumes missile ammo. Missile blasts can destroy missile blocks and missile covers. It can also expose hidden blocks. Okay. Okay, so maybe I can come or go this way. Yeah, maybe I do need to come back to it. I thought this is where I was coming from, so that's why I was like not sure. Um but I just thought at least to give it a try. Oh, I thought the enemy in the background was actually going to attack me. Okay, so there we go. Gosh, I saw it too. I didn't think I was going to jump down that quick. Okay, I think that thing's just kind of done. Okay, what's this? Um, ammo already at max capacity. Okay, so it's uh, to recharge ammo. So I'm assuming maybe that's Morph Ball. Maybe when I get it. Uh, hold R to ready missiles and then press Y to fire. Okay. And, okay, that was the only block I could destroy. Uh, whoop. Not even sure this was the way I was supposed to go, but I think so. Couldn't tell if it split off for a second there. So you've accessed the network station. Well done, Samus. I have reviewed your vital signs and video log from the data you uploaded. I've run a full analysis, but I cannot account for why you lost consciousness. My readings indicate dramatic physical changes in you. Whatever caused these changes seems to have stripped you of most abilities. You might call it physical amnesia. That brings me to your assailant. I am checking the Federation database against your video log. It appears to have been a close up. The attacker's identity is not yet clear. Hmm. I have determined that you are somewhere within the depths of ZPR. Your top priority should be to return to your ship on the surface. This situation is precarious. Trust your instincts as you navigate upward. This planet appears 
used to consist of multiple areas, shuttles, elevators, and other modes of transport connect them. Keep an eye out for ways to reach the surface. The ship's location is marked on your global map. Check it for yourself. You may encounter pockets of low temperature. Your metro DNA renders you vulnerable to such environments. Spending time in cold areas will be harmful to you. Yeah. There are many such cold okay. areas scattered sense. underground. Do not enter them with your basic power suit. One final thing. Underground interference is preventing radio transmissions. Check in with me on any network stations you find. Okay. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, I'll save. So I'll probably be mentioning Metroid spoilers throughout this just because, like, I, like, remember quite a bit of stuff from the series. Um, but for anybody who doesn't know, so Metroid's main weakness is, like, cold temperatures. Um, when Samus loses her, her suit, um, in Metroid Fusion, she has to kind of, like, make her suit based off of, like, Metroid DNA in a sense. Um, or, like, I'm trying to remember the exact thing behind it. I believe that's it. Um, which is why her suit, or her in general, uh, why she's weak to, um, the cold temperatures. This is gonna be a QT. Um, use a melee counter. At the right time to parry certain attacks, automatically take aim at the attacker. Uh, press X to use your melee counter now. Okay. Okay, cool. Um, so yeah, that is, that is why that's the case. Um, parry enemy attacks with the melee counter by pressing X at the right moment. Um... Okay, that's good to know. And so, like, when you're playing Fusion, that's actually one of the, the main things you have to take into account is um, with the SAX specifically. Uh, oh, you can do that in the air. That's cool. So that's one of the things you have to take into account is uh, because the SAX does have your suit of armor, so... Um, the armor does contain ice missiles, so you have to take that into account when running away from it. Because uh, it will kill you. <laughs> That's the main thing of it. Um, and yeah, so I saw the mention about the Chozo suit, or the the Chozo in general. Um, gosh, I'm forgetting to parry, so it's gonna be something I gotta get used to. Okay. Um, okay, so I got some HP back. It's kind of hard to focus on playing while I'm while I'm describing the other stuff, <laughs> but um, I'll try to focus a little bit more. But yeah, I mean, like technically, I don't I don't know exactly what the canon thing is with the Chozo. To be honest, I do know that in um, oh, uh, Artario. Uh, if an area on the map is blinking, it indicates that a hidden item is there. Oh, okay. So that's good to know. So it's blinking right now. Maybe up here? I wonder if I can stand still while aiming my cannon, because I feel like that's something... Oh, you can't. Okay, so that's what that little this is for. Okay, that's really good to know, because I didn't know that I saw you stand still. I was just running while trying to shoot in a certain direction. Uh, missile tank acquired. Um, okay, cool. Uh, okay, so this door does open. Um, oh, whoops. Oh, jeez. <laughs> okay, wait, I do remember this from the trailer. Um, well, game just like, I hope you learned how to play this game. Oh jeez. Yeah, you can't jump over them. Okay. Um, pressing X at the exact moment of the flash. However, the timing is extremely difficult to gauge, making this a desperate maneuver. Okay, you got a slide under. Okay. Oh, and this one's broken. Okay, so it's harder for it to get up. I 
I wonder if I could have gone back down and just shot it, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna risk that. Yeah, if you like those kind of like chase sequence chase sequences where like something's gonna kill you if it catches up to you. That's a lot of fusion. <laughs> so it definitely feels like very, very much esque or very fusion esque. Uh, the energy from the central unit transformed the arm cannon into an Omega cannon. Um, Omega Blaster Online. So it's like charging it up. Okay, so hold L. Take aim. Um, or hold R, sorry. Uh, charge the Omega Blaster. So. And charge that. And then once charged, press Y while holding R to fire. Okay, cool. Let's stand here. Okay. And was there anything else I can aim at? No? Okay. So neat. Okay, cool. So, uh, counter ME uh, 01P in Artaria. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Even this is a reference to like stuff in the Metroid series, but I won't go too much into that because I actually don't know the full thing behind it, but I do know that it's a reference to it. If you know, then you know, but um, if not, I definitely recommend playing the series. Uh, hold L to use aim mode, tilt L. Um, see, that's like, <laughs> there's two different L buttons. You have to know the shape. If you're telling somebody that without them seeing it, it's like it would be a little confusing. Uh, if a target is nearby, Samus will automatically face that direction. Okay. Oh, geez. Is it down here? Oh, it is. Oh, geez. Oh, and then I died. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that timing is really, really tricky. I thought I would have shot it for that. Okay, let's continue. Um, yeah, because that thing straight up just like puts a hole in your skull. Or at least that's how it looks. <laughs> okay, so hold this. Charge it with this, and then once you're done, fire with Y. Okay. I thought that would have killed it, but I guess maybe I'm still supposed to avoid it. Avoid it. Uh, let me try it again. Maybe I just did too late. Oh, I just missed it entirely. Okay. They see you have an option to parry out of it, so that's good. I just have to learn the timing of it then. Um, Omega cannon depleted and offline, reverting to regular arm cannon. Okay. And do I have like a little meter that shows the charge? I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, so regarding the thing about the Chozo and the thing about them being good guys, um, I don't know. I'm not entirely sure on the whole entire lore with the Chozo. I do know that you have to fight them in metro prime though so like um that's something but that's that's kind of for a different reason so i wouldn't say they're necessarily like bad guys but um what do we got here uh, save progress yep actually let me get some water real quick let me clear my throat i'll be right back For anybody else who hasn't had water recently, make sure to drink up. Okay. Um, have I played Samus Returns on the 3DS? Uh, I have not. I actually, at the time it came out, I just was like not in the best financial situation, so I didn't get it, um, unfortunately. I've been wanting to get it, though. Um, 
because they came even they even came out with that 3ds that looked really really cool um and i unfortunately couldn't get that either but i already had a 3ds at the time so it wasn't that big of a deal for me um so yeah that's uh that's where i stand on that i mean i know it's supposed to be like a what like a remake of two so uh definitely very much so my interests aligned with my interest but uh, okay, so I can't go back, I guess. Uh, or no, maybe I can. Can I slide? Uh, whoa. Okay, I can't go back. <laughs> um, jeez. Actually, how am I supposed to do this now? Okay, I just need to jump a little bit higher. Um, oh yeah, no, I'll, I'll take your recommendation and I also... <laughs> of my own accord, really want to play it, so. Um, I just I haven't really looked for buying it, like, for any use listings on it lately. I don't know if they still sell it because it's a 3DS game. I think they're kind of done with the 3DS library, so. Uh, I don't recall seeing a 3DS game in the store for a while, except for, like, the Wario, Wario game. Um, okay, so, new map. This is a cold area, right? I'm assuming... See, like, it looks like it's cold. Okay, so let's see. Oops, <laughs> right out the door. Okay, so I can't go that way. Let's go down here. Um, this also looks familiar from the trailer, so. Okay, what about here? Okay, cool. Oh, this one's not even damaged. Okay, well. <laughs> I don't have my charge shot either, so. Okay, so where do I need to go? I'm assuming it here? Okay. Uh, I don't think that's where I'm supposed to go. Oh, jeez. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna have to parry. Okay, well, I didn't parry. <laughs> jeez. Oh, man, that is brutal. Eventually, I'll get the timing down of that. If I can get the timing down for parrying a Breath of the Wild, I can do that. Um... But yeah, that is like a really short time frame. They weren't kidding. At least for learning it. Um, it's a little bit short, but... I don't know. Playing in Smash Bros, I can tack off the like, ink spike, stage spike for the most part. So... And that's kind of like... <laughs> a little bit of tricky when you like start off. So I'm not even like that good at Smash Bros, but... I can usually tack being uh, stage spiked. It was like gamer instincts, I guess, or whatever. <laughs> Can I do it this way? Nope. Okay, let's not even try. <laughs> okay, maybe I was supposed to go... Wait, let's go down here, actually. Okay. Oh, wait, why don't I just come back? Uh... Oh, jeez. <laughs> Too soon. Okay, well, time to learn to parry. Can I... I can parry the first one. Huh. I'm hitting the right button, right? Let me, let me make sure I'm hitting the right button. Okay, I am hitting the right button. Okay. I just gotta get good then. It's just how it is. Sucks to suck, you know? <laughs> Gosh, this thing looks so cool. Just the way it moves, too. It's like, it's very eerie, but at the same time, I just love the way it moves around. Okay. Oops. 
Now I'm like panicking because I've been able to do it, but... Oh, jeez. <laughs> okay, there we go. I didn't know I could parry the first part, so I was like, oh man, that's, that looks like it'd be a lot more... a uh, much better idea to do. Okay, so let's run this way. I don't know if I'm supposed to go that way. As a matter of fact, maybe I'm supposed to go back down here. No, this doesn't look great. Okay, well, uh... Okay, I got one more chance. Nope. <laughs> That's it. Ugh. That's such a, like, gruesome way to get killed, too. Like, they straight up just want you to see it. Like... <laughs> I wouldn't have it any other way, though, honestly speaking. It really just adds to the intensity of it. Um, oh, I can skip this. Okay. I think even when, like, the person showcasing the game was doing this, they... Like, had a little bit of a hard time going through this. I'm like, dang, didn't they, like, let you practice? <laughs> Maybe I was supposed to go down here. Um. Okay, I don't think... Okay. Okay, I was supposed to go down here. Whoops. Well, I was making my life harder that way. Um, okay. Okay, so let's see what's up here. Whoop. Okay, missile tanks. All right, cool. Um, gosh, this map is is huge. Uh, let's go to the right. So, I don't know if I've ever mentioned. I think I have mentioned it on streams before. But like, Metroidvania are like one of my favorite kind of games to like play. Um, I need to shoot this with a missile. Maybe I just need to, like, run fast enough at one point I get an item. Okay, I guess I'm not supposed to go that way. Um, and let's see, this is where it came from. Ran up here. Eventually, I'm sure I'll be able to go back there and explore it more. Um, but yeah, Metroidvania is, like, one of my favorite kind of playstyles for games. Um, huge Castlevania fan. Uh, I love playing Castlevania. And so, like, playing Metro 2, like, similar playstyle. Um... Like, especially with the way they kind of, like, took the direction of Castlevania at a certain point. Because before it wasn't always, like, a castle, you know. Um, oh. trying to capture you. They may have been back. If so, it's reasonable to assume all Emmy will be possible. Emmy, send out a pulse to detect vibrations in the air within a certain range. Essentially, they can hear you. Upon detecting vibrations, an enemy enters surveillance mode to track their source. Stay out of its line of sight when this happens. Otherwise, the danger to you increases dramatically. An enemy that has seen you will begin pursuit. Part of the pursuit protocol is to seal the enemy's own exits. You will be trapped inside. To survive, you must leave its range of pursuit. Evade the enemy and it will disengage. This will also unseal the exits. An enemy never leaves its assigned zone. Their control system must permit them to operate only within that range. I estimate a 99% probability of death if an enemy captures you. Yeah, well, it was a 1% chance for me that one time. <laughs> Except for the three other times I didn't die, but let's not pay attention to that. There may be a very small opportunity to escape, but exploiting this window will be virtually impossible. The enemy are immune to your current weapons. You lack the unique energy used to defeat the first enemy. Your only option now is to evade capture and find an exit. Your highest priority in an enemy zone should be simply to survive. Okay, okay, cool. Uh, save my progress. I like how quick that thing, like, lets me save too. Um, okay, so... Okay, can't go through here yet. What about here? 
Yeah, thanks, Adam. <laughs> Oops. So how do I just, like, grab onto that? Just Okay, so I don't have to press the jump button for it. Just gotta be holding direction for it. Okay, and then jump. Okay. Do I have... No, I don't have that other beam. Like I said. Okay. Um, okay. So let's go ahead and... Gosh, do I... Can I get up there? I don't think I can get this one yet. Unless I can shoot it and it counts. No. Okay. So let's go and continue. There we go. <laughs> Metro crank crawl. <laughs> uh, oh, this doesn't look great. Um, this looks like a bad time. Uh, what is this thing? Is this the... Oh yeah, this is the missile thing. Okay. Okay, does that also recharge? Let's see, what was it? No, it does not. Okay. Um, I can't tell if it's actually cold in this area or not. I don't think it is. It just looks like it's probably like vapor or something. Okay, so let's get to know this area. Um, so I go down. Oh, that actually takes me back up. Let's check out that part first. And I can't do it off this wall. Yeah, okay, so I guess I just can't come here yet. I'm not supposed to be here yet. Um, okay. So, so yeah, I don't know if I mentioned it before, but like I really like Metroidvania-esque games. Um, and like a couple of games that have been on my radar that I've really wanted to try out, just haven't gone around to playing them, is like, uh, oh geez. Oh, oh geez, okay, well it's on me. Okay, let's go ahead and avoid it. Oh, uh, well, okay, I guess that wasn't the best decision. Oh, jeez, oh, if I just run into it. Okay, too early. And I don't know if I can parry that part, actually. Maybe I'm, maybe I can't parry that part if I mess up the first one. It's just GG's. Um, I don't know, I'll have to keep trying on that. Um, but yeah, I like, there's a couple games, like, I know Hollow Knight, I think, at least I think so, I think Hollow Knight's supposed to be, like, a Metroidvania game. Um, Axiom Verge, which is supposed to be, like, inspired by this game. Um, it's also supposed to be, oh gosh, it's actually hearing me. Oh gosh, <laughs> dang it. Ugh, it's so easy to be seen by it. Okay, so let's see. Go left or right? Okay. Okay, there we go. I think it's just gonna fall way through though. Yeah. Uh, I guess I should have given it a second for it to process what it needs to process. Oh wait, maybe I shouldn't do that right now. Oh jeez. Okay, well there it is. Gosh, how am I gonna get out of this situation? I think I might have to actually parry it. Okay, let's try and parry it. Too early, yep. Oh, and you can kick. Okay, I saw the little kick there, so maybe I can do it. Um, I don't think I was supposed to be seen by it there because it locked the door, so I'm not sure if there's any way around that besides disengaging the whole entire chase thing. Um, but yeah, like those games, I know that are supposed to be like Metroidvania-esque games that I've been interested in playing, so uh, eventually I'll probably go and play those on stream or something. Um... Okay, so let's go ahead and try and keep it. Uh, okay, cool. It didn't see me. Oh my gosh, it's like really close to see me. Uh, 
Okay, there we go. And there we go. Okay. So yeah, that was that was <laughs> not something I should have probably dealt with. Um Oh like Bloodstained? I played the first Bloodstained game, like uh Ritual of the Night. Um, and I had a blast with that game. I honestly speaking wasn't entirely sure how much I would like that game uh, when I got it because I'm like I know it's created by the the person who made Castlevania um, can't remember his name but like um, I'm like I'm pretty sure it will be good but you know different studio let's let's see how it's managed and honestly speaking that game went well beyond my expectations it was, it was a very very good game so I do want to play the 8-bit ones too um, that's something I do want to play at some point in my life whether it's on stream or just like on my own I don't know but um, I don't know just that kind of like game style I really like I just kind of like exploring stuff getting different items and power-ups and just kind of going throughout the game so like, I played, like, Momodora on Steam. That was a fun game, too. And I didn't even know that was, like, going to be Metroidvania. I just was recommended the game. Um, so, that was something. Gosh, these things uh, suck. <laughs> you have to be, like, really quick with it. I will die before I'll, <laughs> before I'll just leave it alive. Um, okay, well, down here now. I'm assuming the game's just going to take me in the direction it wants to before I can uh, actually explore those other parts, so. Which is fine by me. Okay, so I can't go up there yet. Give all my HP back. Scratch my face. <laughs> okay. And let's see. There we go. Okay, now the water levels are even. Um, hmm. Okay, maybe that does something over here then. Let's check the area over here out. Okay, cool, it does. So let's go up here. And let's see what's here. Is this a map? Nice. Okay, cool. So area map downloaded. Uh, save your progress, yep. It's nice that you can actually save your progress at these spots too. Uh, on the map, the yellow rooms, I guess that means that you're gonna die a lot too. <laughs> uh, the yellow rooms are saving facilities, the purple rooms contain transportation devices. Okay. Okay, I will keep that in mind. So, uh, oh yeah, I can turn on the amiibo thing here. What's the system do? Uh, controls, oh, okay, it's just the same stuff. Okay. So, let's see, let's go to the right here, now that I can do that. Um, but yeah, like, playing like, uh, what's it called? I guess this thing's not going to see me. Um, let's, let's go ahead and kill this thing. Um, playing like Bloodstained as well, like, another thing I really liked about it was the fact that like, the, I don't know whose call it was on it, but they definitely like, kind of kept the same idea of like, um, oh, you can actually shoot where you're hanging on here. That's really good to know. Um, they kind of kept the same call of like having like the, the item drops to be kind of like difficult, but not too difficult. Um, because in <laughs> when we just play like any of the, like the Castlevania games on the handheld, like Aria of Sorrow or especially the Aria of Sorrow, um, some of those souls are ridiculous to get. Um, do I need to shoot with the missile? Maybe I just need to parry it. Okay, too soon. Too soon. Ooh, that thing, uh, certainly did not <laughs> do a lot of damage. Um, okay, let's just continue. Um, some of the souls in that game are ridiculous to, to get. Like, the spawn rates or the drop rates for them is so low. You might as well be playing Gasha at that point. Um, okay, so a little slow on that. Okay, there we go. 
Um, it's like, I, I swear, I've spent like almost an hour and a half just trying to get one soul, and I'm like, this, this is not, this is not how I envisioned the next two hours of my life to go. Like, it's so ridiculous how hard some of those souls are to get. So, Bloodstained Ritual of the Night did a much better job, like, significantly better on getting, on getting, like, the shards, um, as they're called in that game. Um, so I definitely enjoyed that aspect a lot more, too. If I go down, can I... I think it's just going to take me back, so I need to go this way, I'm assuming. Or maybe back up. I don't think I can go back up. Right? Yeah, because that's just... It's going to take me there. Um, what was the button to bring the map again? There's a button. Yeah, there we go. It's, uh, west. Or whatever it's called on the left Joy-Con. Oh, this game doesn't hold your hand? Yeah, it doesn't feel like it's holding my hand, for sure. It definitely feels like it's catered towards people who have played the game already and know what to to expect, for sure. Oops. <laughs> I really like the fact there's a parrying system, too. That, honestly speaking, feels much, much better. Um, even though I haven't gotten like the timing down for it, um, I will most certainly be practicing that and just like getting to know it because I um, I like it when games include like a parry system like it's an optional thing like you can take the damage or you can just like try to um, deflect it like whichever you choose okay so this one is actually off limits for now um, so even like Paper Mario like I don't remember if the first Paper Mario did it I don't I don't recall it having a parrying system I think it just had like a block system but the thousand year door, um, even for like the the pairing system, you have the choice of blocking or straight up pairing it. And I always chose to like parry it as much as I could. Um, certain bosses, I could just not get the timing down for it. But for like other enemies, I would try to like parry them as much as I could. It just, it feels more gratifying. Like you feel better about the way you played if you can parry it compared to like not doing it. So I'm just like, yeah, I want, I want to feel cool when I play my games. I don't want to feel like a like a dork. <laughs> no, you you play games however you want though. Like just have fun. You know that's the point of playing games. Um, not to stress out too much over it. But that that's just how I like to play games. Like just like the kind of like parry stuff. Um, in addition to the fact that it's just better overall for the for your character. I mean, like you take less damage and whatnot. Um, okay, so let's go down here. What is that? Okay, I don't think... Oh. Okay, well that thing's <laughs> gonna try and kill me. Uh, okay, this is a boss fight? Oh, no, it's not. Oh, wait. Oh, gosh, I have no idea where I'm even going at this point. Okay, cool. Um, oh, that actually might be something I need to do. Okay, let's not move. Okay, it's just gonna see me if I stand there. Oh, uh, jeez. Okay. Oh, that's not cool. <laughs> okay, let's go back here. through here let's reset it for a sec okay I'm gonna try and go through before that the other thing sees me so what is this room oh gosh <laughs> you can just go straight up oh man I didn't think it was actually gonna do that uh, well that sucks oh man that actually freaked me out for a second I don't think that did anything. Okay, that doesn't lead anywhere. What about here to the right? Okay, I don't think that's gonna take me anywhere. What about right here? Okay, so that's good to know. I'll have to come back to that in a sec when I actually I'm not being chased right now. 
Okay, let's check this thing out again. Do any issue mislight it? Okay, well, never mind, it's zombie. Uh, Alright, let's go back down here. That's higher? Okay. That's something. Oh, I just need to lift it up more. Okay. There we go. So, okay, let's go down here. And I guess those things are bad, so I don't want to be encountering or dealing with those. Uh, Alright, let's just go down here. And there we go. Okay. And now it's off limits. Um, I feel like there's something worth... Well, never mind. I guess I'll find out later. <laughs> I'm going to straight up die if I go that way. Unless I parry it. Um, okay. So, go here. I really like this whole entire world, too. Like... It looks like it's kind of abandoned and not at the same time. Oh, they're just going to keep spawning. Okay. Okay, so I can't go here. Okay. And then maybe over here? Well, okay. I can't do that, so I guess I just have to go left. Um... Okay, and I can go either up or down. Let's go up this way. Whoa, okay, that's cold. Okay, so that's what that the, like little fog is. Uh, I guess the cold air is showing me. So I guess that's the way of, the game's way of telling you you're about to enter in a cold room. Um, okay, what about this? Okay, so that's the one you shoot with the missile. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't see that. Jeez, I feel like... Is there a way to, like, look down? I feel like... There should be a way for me to look down. Maybe it was, like, popping up on the bottom. I'm like, that would suck if it's, like, Sonic-esque uh, style where you just have to take a leap from faith. Nothing against Sonic, although... I don't know. Lately, the games have been kind of like, whatever. They uh, definitely shouldn't have as many leap of faith things um, as, they, as they do in the games. Okay, so... Yeah, so definitely have to do something here. I just need to shoot it. Okay. Okay, there's the charge beam. Cool. Except, um, all right. So I'm assuming you just press and hold Y. Yep. I'm surprised you actually have to unlock that too, because I think most of the games you just start off with it. But uh, focuses beam energy to unleash a powerful shot. Well, maybe not most of the game. I know the Prime games you do, but then you kind of lose it. So uh, I take that back. Um, I should probably play the old like 2D ones before I say that. Charge shots damage enemies immune to normal beam shots, uh, such as robots and bosses. They can also open charge beam doors. In addition, Samus can... Uh, oh, gotta scroll down. Um, Samus can perform a charge attack by spin jumping when the beam's fully charged. Okay, so... Okay, cool, so... Huh, I guess that just hurts them. All the 2D ones you have to unlock it? Okay, that that's what I was thinking. I'm like, I don't want to seem like I know more than I actually do, so I'll reserve... I'll take back that statement, because... Like, uh, I gave a disclaimer beforehand, too. Like, I, I have not played, like, many of the 2D ones, so I'm like, I don't want to pretend like I know more than I really do. Um, don't want to beat that guy. Um, okay, so let's see. Let me actually pull up this map. So this is where I was running through, right? That's cold room, so I can't go through there. That's where I came from, so maybe I do want to go to the right. Yeah, okay, so then that that's the charge beam shot. This is beam doors or whatever. Um, okay, so what is this room? Oh, is this where, this is where I started. Okay, okay, cool. I'm hoping there's like a dash backwards button because I definitely like to use that in, in like these kind of games. Um, 
Maybe you can like take a step backwards and stuff like that. Oh, <laughs> just gave me like a little push off as a warning. Okay, so there we go. And here we go. Okay, so it's going to be an energy tank, I'm assuming. Can I do that? Okay, cool. I love the sound effects in this game, too. They're just kind of, like, loud and kind of in your face, too. Do I have the amiibo for this game? I do, actually. Um, I had a significantly easier time getting the amiibos than I did the special edition. And, uh... At this time, I don't know how it's going to be in the future when anybody else watches this, but at this time, it's significantly easier to get the Amiibos. Um, I've noticed that they've been coming in out of stock online. Uh, too soon. Okay. So, I was uh, thankfully able to get them, and I um, actually managed to pick up an extra set, so I'm actually... Because I, I like my Amiibos closed in a box, so I'm planning to like uh, have one open and one closed. So, uh, yeah, super, super excited about that, for sure. Okay, so let's go here. Yeah, I, I, I think I mentioned it before, too. Whoops, I didn't even see that one. Um... I think I mentioned it before too, but like I like collecting amiibos. So um, ever since they came out, I kind of regret not getting some of the older ones. But you know, it is what it is. Um, like I've said before, like at the time too, I wasn't exactly in the best financial situation, so like I couldn't really get a lot of the ones I wanted. So there's definitely some that I'm like, ugh, like I, I really regret not being able to get. Um, I mean, it's not really like it, it's too much that I could do about it, but. Um, I'll go ahead and save here. But there's like some, not even Smash Bros. related, that like I really, really did want to get. So maybe one day in the future, um, I'll be able to pick those up. And uh, eventually I might start using webcam. I don't know. Um, I'm going to kind of see how things go. Um, but then I can also like showcase my, my Amiibo collections. Be like, yeah, here's like, I, I plan to like, uh, I eventually do plan to do a webcam. I don't know one that'll be but I do eventually plan to do that um and then at which point I can kind of go over the amiibos and just kind of like <laughs> I have the tendency with like amiibos the same way with like trading cards to be able to recall like what point in my life I got them I don't know if that's just like me or I think that's a pretty normal thing to be honest um but like I can recall like where I was like not so much the year but just like what was going on at the moment and um same thing with amiibos just be like oh yeah here's how i got this one like uh i've mentioned this story before in stream but like yeah here's the one i got when i uh some 40 year old dude tried to like fight me in front of a target parking lot <laughs> like that kind of stuff so uh and for anybody who hasn't seen that i did not instigate that fight at all uh just the tldr 40 year old dude tried to cut me in line i tried to let the employee know this dude was cutting me as well as like 20 other people were like 15 to 20 other people in line and uh yeah dude got upset and tried to fight me so that was a uh, pretty stupid i'm not gonna lie i don't know you can be 40 years old and still act like such a child but whatever um so yeah but <laughs> just kind of those kind of things i'll probably go over uh one day whenever i'm like streaming and like showing off my collection and stuff like that um okay so i can't go up that way and I went over here, right? Wait, okay, maybe, maybe I uh, maybe I missed the spot that I was supposed to go to. Okay, so let's go. Let's take a second. And let's look at the map again. So go up and go left, okay. Do I plan on using the Amiibos through the playthrough? Um, probably not. Cause, what is it? They, what is it that they heal you, right? Usually for Amiibos, um, 
I don't know, this just might be like the masochist in uh in me. But like usually whenever I play games I kinda like to like take the hard way. And so like I usually tend to not use stuff that like helps me play the game and make it easier on me. Um that's just kind of how I am with stuff like that. So I don't think I'll be using the amiibos unless like I get something that's like definitely worth checking out on stream. Um, but yeah, for the most part, I, I usually play games without using those items, stuff like that. Oh, cut, cutscene? What happened again? Okay, so can I like walk slowly? Oh no, it's just straight up like not moving or running. Okay, can't go that way. That's only for going down. I don't hear anything running around either, so... Wasn't this one of the rooms I was in before? Or am I thinking of a different one? I might be thinking of a different one. This, this feels familiar, though. Gosh, this map is actually pretty big, too. Um... Gosh, it's so cool that you can do that. I don't know. Is there a way to, like... How do I grab onto the ledge? Oh, you just kind of, like, gotta reverse it real quick. Okay, like Smash Bros. Like, <laughs> ledge trumping. Ugh. I'm not the best at ledge trumping. I can do it, but just, like, not consistently. And it depends on the character, too. I think that some characters have an easier time doing it than others. Uh, it's coming from above. Uh, no, it's no, it wasn't coming from above. I messed up. I messed up. <laughs> this is the theory, the area I was thinking about too. Jeez. Um. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have come this way. I feel like I actually should have gone up. Okay. Um, so, well, I'm here. I might as well check it out. I guess there there is some new areas I haven't... Oh, no, that's right. I can't go in there. Um, maybe a charge beam? Or maybe I have to destroy the enemy first before I can go through there. Maybe that's, that's what I need to do. What the heck was that? Um, I guess I might as well save while I'm here, then. That's the only downside with Metroidvanias, though. Like, many of the many, many, many I've played is that, like, there is a certain point. This isn't it, though, because I'm finding definitely different areas I can go to. But there's always that one point when you, like, play a new one where you're just like, where am I supposed to go? And then you, like, spend an hour to half an hour, like, just walking around the whole entire map, exploring every single spot. And you're like, oh, yeah, there's this one door I can open up because I didn't have this one thing to do it. And now I do. <laughs> so. Like, it always happens with, with every new Metroidvania S game. Oh, okay, I have to go down here. I was like, what am I running into? Okay, so that's that. I need to get underneath there for that. And, oh, is this a boss fight? My first boss fight? I mean, I guess it would make sense. There was a... The save room. Um. Was that too hot? Is that what it was telling me? Yeah, I'm losing energy from that. Okay. I didn't even notice the energy going down. What about in here? Uh, okay, same thing. Gosh, what a cruel punishment to go into the wrong area. Like, you already just off the bat lose HP. <laughs> like... It reminds me of that, like, AVG. Not, not that I try to, like, bank off of other people's humor, but, like, it just kind of reminds me of, like, AVGN's, like, uh, Metal Gear Solid review. Uh, I mean, I don't think they'd mind, to be honest. Like, it gives them more publicity. Um, 
But like with the Metal Gear thing where you have to go into the room, but then you find out once you're in the room that you uh, need a gas mask, but then you have to like equip it so you always take damage no matter what. <laughs> it's kind of those things, that's what it reminds me of. Um, okay, let's go back here and check what that other room was first. Uh, oh, I can't even go in there, okay. One thing I do appreciate too about the doors here is that they open up by the time you get to them. Because that's one of the things that bothered me with like the other games. Is like it kind of takes you out of the mood when you're like running around really fast. And then like you have to wait for the room to load. Uh, that's especially a problem on, in the Metro Prime games. Uh, thermal fuel's l flow has been redirected. I was thinking the whole entire floor was going to be filled with lava. <laughs> I'm like, well, that's that's that. Uh, gosh, I have to remember that blinking... Blinking rooms mean there's something hidden. I just remember that whole entire thing. I don't think I've seen anything. Oh, yeah, there is. Okay, well, I just have to eventually figure out how to get in there. Um... Yeah, my bad. For anybody who's like seen Blinky Rooms and just noticed I'm not getting them, I actually completely forgot that that was a thing. Uh, oh, okay, cool. So I have to go in through the other side. Um, because I wasn't looking at the map that much, so I guess I should start paying more attention to that. Um, let's see. Let me go save real quick on the, now that I got that. Okay, so let's go in here. Gosh, I just love these kind of games. I don't, I can't say that enough. I really, really, really do like Metroid Mania's games. Just because it's like so fast paced, you just run through and start shooting stuff or like attacking or whatever the hell you're doing. Okay, so this is where I was at. Okay, so that's that. Um, okay, and the flow has been redirected, so maybe this room's good now? Don't know. Well, this is open now, so I'll, I'll go with this one first, see, see what's different here. Uh, well, this actually might just take me back. I think I'm actually supposed to stay to the, to the right. Let's see, anything different here? No, it still looks like it's the same thing. Oh, whoops. <laughs> I was reading chats. <laughs> I didn't remember that there was enemies in this room. It's like looking away and just like running. Okay, now this still hurt. So, hmm. Okay, so can't go down. Can I go down to the right now? No, I still can't. Okay. Anything blinking in this room? Doesn't look like it. Okay, let's just go and run. Lately, I've been like into watching speed runs, and so like, um, I I was just thinking like, I wonder what a speed run for this game would look like, because I'd imagine it'd be very, very, very beautiful. Um, just the pacing and everything of this game. So that just brought me downward. So I don't think I'm supposed to go that way. Like I, I recently looked into like a, a Banjo Kazooie speedrun. Um, I don't remember how many years ago it was, but it was talking about like um, one of the glitches. Oh, is this a new thing? There is no record of your assailant in the Federation database. However, there are records of the Chozo Warrior tribe. There is a strong possibility that you are connected. Oh, you can beat this game in three to four hours? That's crazy. Jeez. You have seen the Warrior Tribe's architecture and artifacts on this planet. I conclude that this was one of their settlements. But why would someone leave you here and send the Emmy after you? The footage of the ex-parasite may have been staged to lure you in. The situation remains unclear, but your priority hasn't changed. You must return to the ship. You have activated the magma supply system that has restored power to the closed thermal doors. Seek them out to proceed. Continue to search for the unique energy you employed against the first enemy. It is the only way you can confront them. Unfortunately, this energy is limited. You may have noticed it dissipating after an enemy is destroyed. There are six remaining enemy hunting you. You have no means to confront them. Remember that. 
Oh, there's a total of six. Okay. That's good to know then. Um, I thought they just respawn like all the other enemies. Um, okay. So I guess I can go down here now, right? Maybe the best way. I feel like, um, interactive device used. Yeah, I don't know if I can really go in here, so I'll just go down, down here. Uh, now that this is open. Uh, resize at full capacity. Yeah, because if I go up, well, I guess, huh. There's like a missile thing up here too. Missile tank. Okay, let's go. Let's go up. Let me see. Um, but yeah, like uh, the banjo. Cause, oh, I can't even go up. Okay, well, whatever. <laughs> um, can I destroy this with that missile? No. Okay. Yeah, the banjo because the speed run just talked about like uh, utilizing one of the. Because I guess the biggest thing with the speed run is uh, for anybody who's played banjo because we like towards the end you get that little like board game esque thing, the trivia. Uh, and apparently it's like really RNG based at a certain point. Um, you can pretty much bypass that whole entire thing with the speedrun strategy. So I think that's one of the main things that it uh, it was showcasing because that's something that's been discovered within recent years. Um, okay, so where do I want to go? Because I remember I ran past like a whole bunch of stuff without actually exploring the area. Oh, wait, can I go through here? Okay, I can. Okay, cool. Well. Seems like the same place I was at, but sure. <laughs> Wait, I can't go up that way. That's right. Um, uh, okay, let's go ahead and run through here. Um, so I'm assuming the lava then is redirected to something else that I have to kind of follow. Uh, maybe through here. Gosh, that, that door opens up so uncomfortably slow. Oh, well, you got me. Ah, <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay. I saw it too and I tried to jump, but I guess I jumped too late. Oh, they sent seven to the planet. Okay. I thought it was just like them sending them in general, but I didn't think it was like a... Oh, that. Whoops. Well, sorry. <laughs> Activated those things. Um... Yeah, I would have thought they just kind of like respawn. But that's good to know. At least it's just kind of like your one and done kind of situation with them. Um, here, maybe? I think I'm supposed to continue following the, uh, the path indicated, but oh, or maybe not. Oh, this is the dude that was, uh, that was checking me out before. Um, can I defeat it? Uh, maybe not. <laughs> no, they're shooting flaming spaghettios at me. Oh, well. Can I parry it? No, but they do give me HP, so... Did that hurt it? I can't even tell if that actually did anything. Yeah, it looks like if, like, Flaming Hot Cheetos and, like, SpaghettiOs did a collaboration. Since apparently, like, everything is doing a collaboration with, like, Flaming Hot Cheetos nowadays. Okay, so I guess I should start replenishing some HP because I was running around and getting hit by everything that I didn't have any business getting hit by. I'm actually doing what I'm supposed to be doing? Or did I just leave here? Gosh. <laughs> Okay, I don't think this is doing anything. I'm assuming I can't parry these, yeah. Am 
What am I supposed to do here? Am I forgetting one of the many moves I have? <laughs> it's funny, I haven't had too many difficulties in this playthrough up until this, uh, this one boss fight. I'm like, what am I supposed to do against this? You know, I'm supposed to shoot these? I just killed one when it came out. Maybe from underneath? It looks like it's kind of doing something and then not at the same time. I'm not supposed to hit it like this. Nope. You can- oh, are there char- do I have charge missiles? Just the eye, charge, or missiles. Okay, so you have to- okay, so that is actually doing something. I didn't- <laughs> one more charge shot, I guess. I didn't know if that was actually doing anything. It looked like it was, but like, wasn't like super obvious. Okay, now that I know- now that I know that, I guess the game's gonna get a little bit more aggressive with it. Okay, there we go. I was like, what am I supposed to do? It just looks like it's bouncing off. Hey, hey, Noodle, how's it going? Sorry, I saw your comment, but I never gave a full mail greeting. Okay, so energy from the central unit transformed the arm cannon into an Omega cannon. Um, Omega blaster online, so let's see. Omega Stream Online. Uh, hold L. Thank you for explaining the controls again, because I actually forgot what it was. So hold L uh, to aim, tilt to aim. Uh, if target is nearby, Sam was on my in that direction. So it's that. Uh, hold Y to fire the Omega Stream and heat up the shielding, uh, or heat up the shielding. It will shatter upon overheating, uh, leaving the core exposed. Okay. Oh, that's actually pretty cool. Huh. And then doing that. Okay, that's actually pretty cool. So you actually have two options now. Um, Alright, so let's go and continue. I'm assuming we have to destroy the next Emmy. Okay, so... There it is. Well, I waited too long on that. Gosh, that was so fast. <laughs> Whoa. Do I have to fight that boss again? It's going to suck if I do. I mean, I guess now that I know how to fight it, it's not too big of a deal. Okay, cool. I do not. I'm assuming then I can overheat the enemy too, maybe? Okay, so let's see. Actually, I might need to get further away from it. So I feel like... I feel like the way it was was kind of hard to deal with. Oh no, it's actually covered. Uh, well... Oh, you have to kick it when it's like a little thing there. Okay. So that's what the kick's actually referring or aiming towards. It's kind of like kicking its face away when it tries to do that little thing. Can I just shoot it like this? No. Okay, so you have to overheat it first. Oh, whoops. There we go. And I'm assuming then I just have to get to a point where, like... Either I have to keep running away from it, or just, just kind of open this up first. Oh, 
Oh. <laughs> Too soon. Okay, yeah. So you do get two opportunities. Um, but it looked like it was actually heating up, so I guess that is the way to do it. Okay. I don't know if maybe there's a better way to do it, like, once you get further, but... So uh, I'm going to stick to that. It looked like that was working, so... And I had quite a bit of a distance on it, too, so maybe I need to... Kind of, like, do it here and then run away a bit. Okay, so let's see it pop down. Into that. Okay, there we go. Yeah. And there we go. Okay, cool. Doing a little like fade away. Oh, it's going into me. Okay. <laughs> That was any like the Metal Gear Solid esque thing. Like just like disintegrate into nothing. Uh, spider Magnet acquired. So what does that do? Allow Samus to attach to blue magnetic surface, uh, surface walls and ceilings using a magnetic field. Uh, tilt in the direction of certain walls and ceilings to grab on. Samus can move and attack wall in this state. Uh, hold up it while attached to a ceiling press to press against it. Okay, so we'll just have to test out when I find one. Okay, and the Omega Cannon's gone. I'm Spider-Man now. <laughs> I'm Spider-Woman, technically. Well, not even technically. <laughs> um, okay, cool. So, pretty self-explanatory. Uh, what about here? Oh, that's cool. So, it actually has, like, a little, like, physics kind of thing where you just pull it down. Um, okay, that's gonna... What, attract an enemy, right? Maybe I don't want to deal with that. Um, where am I on the map right now? Okay, let's go up top. Gosh, I know I'm like due to be playing Subnautica's tune too, because I said I was gonna play like at a uh, at six o'clock uh, Pacific ten time. So I'm just like, man, I don't want to stop playing this though. <laughs> I'm like, oh man, maybe I shouldn't have done it on the same day. Um, no, I'll I'll keep going though until I get to like a a good enough point though. I want to deprive myself of uh like just playing games on a schedule is like not the way to oh gosh dang it uh not the way to really enjoy playing games so I don't want to I don't want to do that. I think it's like the same way with like tv shows and stuff like that is when you're watching them and they're like clearly condensed to be like within a time frame it usually takes away from the vibe of the series because you want to see like you can tell when directors and stuff want to like make something longer, but they're stuck to a 30 minute time constraint and stuff like that. So same thing with like streaming and stuff. You don't want to watch somebody who's like, well, I don't know. In my experience or my opinion, I wouldn't want to watch somebody who's just like, well, like, like if I were to be like, all right, well, that's it. And then see you next time. Like that would kind of suck. <laughs> like I'm just in the middle of nowhere. So, um, not, not talking about YouTube though, but like, although I think you should leave off at a good point in general for any show you have. Uh, oh, I should go up. There's actually a save station right there. Uh, I think it's it's good to kind of leave off when you're ready and it kind of gives off like a, you know, a very, like, I guess a good point to leave off for lack of a better, uh, lack of better wording. Um, okay, so maybe I was supposed to go up and go to the right. Did I actually do that? I mean, I can keep going down here. This looks like a new area. I got that. Let, let me go back up and see what was supposed to be up there. Oh, there's one Emmy per zone. Okay, so that that's right. That's right. There are there are they are um excuse me gosh, they are restricted to one area. That's what the that's what Adam was saying. Oh well, what the hell is that thing? That looks gross. <laughs> that doesn't look like something I want to get too close to, but... Oh, gosh. The closer I get to it, the more it's squirming around. I don't... I did just save, so I guess it's worth checking out. Did it hurt me? Yeah, 
It did. Oh, so this actually does do something. Okay. Oh, you can parry it. Okay. I just saw a little flash on it. Okay, so let's try that out. Okay, cool. There we go. I thought I was going to have to come back to that at some point. I didn't know you could actually parry it. Kind of sucks I wasted a whole bunch of HP right beforehand. I guess this definitely looks like a boss fight, but sure, why not? <laughs> Gosh, I'm like... <laughs> I don't know why I just like imagine Samus sliding under and then they just like... <laughs> Gosh, I don't want to like take away from the mood of it, but like just seeing like the aliens like... The alien sack just like underneath it and then just like getting hit in the face by it. <laughs> like, I'm not trying to take away from the move, but that's just what came to my mind when I saw that. Okay, maybe missiles? Maybe I need to parry that. Oops. What am I supposed to do against that? It looks like maybe I'm not supposed to be outside of it. Yeah, it was quite the image for me too to have. <laughs> I guarantee you I did not um oh that sucked. Didn't really do anything against that. I guarantee you it wasn't um something I really wanted to picture in my head, but Okay, so it is missiles. And I'm assuming charge beam. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Oh jeez, that's like I could have just like ducked under that. Okay. Gosh, I gotta like remind myself to run underneath it because this is like a great opportunity to shoot it. Okay, I might as well charge this up. That was kind of a little too easy. Um, nope, that was not it. Okay, cool. Now you want to be outside of it. I mean, I guess you can be on the inside and then kind of like just turn to like 10 o'clock, but... Oh, now it's straight up invisible? Oh man, I got a little excited. I was like, oh wait. <laughs> what am I looking at now? Oh, it's it turned around, okay. Uh, what was this? Oh, there's a little... Okay, I think it's still gonna hit me, but... What am I actually supposed to do to this? Hold up. Okay, what am I... What am I losing a charge beam? Maybe I'm supposed to charge beam it? Am I supposed to slide under it? Okay, yeah, I was. <laughs> well. Took me a lot longer than I uh, should have. I should have, but you know, at least I got it eventually. I could have died.
Okay. It. it was like at that perfect angle too where I can hit it. Okay, now it's completely gone. Alright, I need to slide under. Oh, and I can parry that, that's right. This thing actually has a lot of HP, too. I, I had a hard time hitting that for some reason. I haven't had that much of trouble hitting that. Okay. Okay, let's go and grab that. Okay, dodge that. Okay, that's not the little bomb of thing. imagine that's it. I don't know how many more things I can pull out. Okay, cool. So I'm assuming that was the first boss. I mean, that definitely felt very boss-esque. Or like a sub-boss, at least. Cool, Phantom Cloak. I love it when games give you like power ups based on the boss you beat. Like that's always nice because you're like, man, this is a cool enemy, and you get a little bit of it to take home. So, uh, upgrading suit for Ion compatibility. Uh, okay, so let's read that. An Ion ability that renders Samus invisible to enemies by refracting light. Uh, she can also move silently of at a slower speed. With full Ion, press R to activate. Press R once again to deactivate. Iron will slowly be consumed while this ability is activated. Uh, moving or firing uh, weapons while activated will consume additional ion. Okay. Once all ion has been depleted, the Phantom Cloak will consume energy. Instead, should it be depleted or should it deplete energy to one, it will automatically deactivate. After deactivation, ion will begin to recharge automatically once Samus makes any actions. The ability cannot be activated again until ion is full. Okay. So, okay, that's good to know. So it's not like you can be at like 20 and then like use it again. So, and okay, so that's kind of giving me an idea of. Oh, dang, that goes fast. Whoa, <laughs> that is really fast. Jeez. Like you basically better not be shooting while you're using that. Oh uh, man, I did not expect that to drain so fast. Uh, was that like a full energy tank in that short amount of time? Jeez, I mean, I, I know it's shooting and all, but like, damn, dude. 
Okay, so let's go... Let's see, I guess the best way to be go up here and then go here and then I'll save and then leave it at that so I can switch off to uh, Subnautica. Uh, oh, am I supposed to... Am I supposed to do this? Um, maybe I need to activate this first. Yeah, okay, cool. So that's how you get past those things. Um, I guess, I mean, since I'm already this way, I might as well go down here. Oh, I can't go down there. Okay, never mind. Whoops. So you have to be out of the little tunnel. Okay, cool. And let's go back up here. Okay, there we go. And, okay. Yeah, there we go. That, not too far. And save. Okay, cool. So I think, like I was saying before, this, <laughs> this is one of those points where it's a good place to leave off on. So I beat the first boss, or at least I think that was a boss, if not a sub-boss. Um, and then got the little cloak. So um, with that, I'll probably call it a stream for this one. I will continue streaming in about half an hour. I'm going to switch over to Subnautica. So I'm going to take a little bit of time to use the bathroom, maybe get some something to eat, like a quick snack. Uh, and for anybody else too who wants to, you know, take this as an intermission, feel free to. Um, so at about 6:30 Pacific Standard Time, yeah, <laughs> definitely water. Drink up, um, hydro homies. So for anybody who um, wants to check out, yeah, there's definitely gonna be water in half an hour because I'm gonna be switching to Subnautica for sure. Um, but yeah, so anybody who wants to check me out again, um, feel free to join back in. I will post uh, an update in Discord. Um, then I'm gonna be switching to Subnautica. So. Um, and then I, I'm assuming if you're like following me, you'll get a ping on Twitch that I'm streaming again. So that, that would be something too, but yeah, I'll switch to Subnautica and then play that for a few hours as well. And definitely come back to this game on, um, Friday. So that'll be the, the next day I'll most likely be streaming this cause I had a blast playing this so far, no pun intended. Um, but yeah, <laughs> this is, this is one of those things I was just really looking forward to playing on stream. And so I'm glad that I actually... Uh, was finally able to get that whole entire, you know, thing resolved, the special edition and whatnot. So, um, if you want to check back in again to see me play more of this, I will be playing again on Friday, uh, around the same time I started today, which was about, what was it, 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Um, and I'm going to update my schedule on Twitch as well, so it's, um, more accurately reflects my new streaming schedule, because I'm kind of liking this so far, um, starting earlier and then I still feel like I'm going pretty strong, so I, I definitely feel like I have the uh, the energy to, to do another stream after this. So, um, you know, for sure after this, I'll be more certain of it and then update my schedule on Twitch to accurately reflect that. Um, so you can check that out and see when I'll be streaming. Uh, and I'm also going to add another panel too to show what kind of games I'm going to be playing. So if anybody else is curious and wants to see like, oh, because uh, I get a lot of questions like that, like, oh, where are you going to play next? Um, I'm going to try to be a little more transparent about that so but um yeah i will leave it there thank you everybody for joining me uh it is appreciated that you can make it to watch the stream uh if you want any future updates uh coming this week i will post them on instagram and twitter so you can check me out there for any updates and then also on discord i'll I most mostly post updates more accurate updates on what i'm doing there so um you should see stuff like that there but uh, with that, thank you for, for joining me. It's appreciated. And then I will see uh, hopefully the rest of you in about half an hour when I'm playing Subnautica. Uh, thanks again. All right, I'll see you later.